Shit House of the Year, I wish to nominate Mike Dean. Yeah. Referee Let's... Mike Dean, and for one specific incident, the fucking Slaven Bilic sending off for West Bromwich Albion. Where he literally goes, Slavin Bilic is in his face saying, "If you're gonna, if you're gonna kill us, then just do it, just do it." And Mike Dean is so arrogant and rude that he just goes to to Slavin's assistant, going, "He can't talk to me like this. Are you gonna stop him? Are you gonna you're gonna stop him, right? You're gonna then I'm just gonna send him off. I'm not even gonna look at Slavin Bilic. I'm not even gonna look at him. His look disgusts me. I am That's Mike Dean. Reason, I am a though. god. I am the god of football." I am Mike Dean, god of all referees. Yeah, he's he's definitely one of those referees that has decided that he's like that he's he's what people have who people have come to see. <laughs> who so God cares about the referee. They're, they're, they're here to see me. That's yeah. why that's why he's coming up with like the, the like flamboyant like cards and all of that. Like that guy from the like that South American ref. <laughs> It's like he saw that video and was like, I'm totally going to be like him. I'm yeah. going to do it back because I'm going to do it in the Premier League and everyone yeah. will see it weekly. Um, yeah, he's... He's, he he's a shit house. Yeah. And I I would... I'm 100% for referees having to do press after the game. Yeah. Uh, well, our, our argument has been all season. Mic them up like they that you do in rugby. Mic them yeah. up. Yeah. Because then it would, then it would show just how arrogant he is yeah because he is a he, he he is and by the way i will just read this is the urban dictionary definition of shithouse someone who is the epitome of scum the lowest of the low and mike dean definitely comes to mind when i say someone who is the epitome of scum and the lowest of the <laughs> low in fact uh co-host callum probably called mike dean scum in fact i know he did he definitely called mike dean scum and i'm now doing exactly the same Mike Dean is a shit house. I mean, I can't disagree with you. I, hate <laughs> <him>. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's such a shit house. And do you know, do you know I only needed this one it's, moment. It's his face as well. It's just a weasel. <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, I'm putting that on a t shirt. Mike Dean is a weasel. <laughs> uh, i got to put that on a t shirt. Yeah. I, I mean, I could bring up so many points this season for Mike Dean. But this is the uh, this is just the uh, this is this one moment for me epitomizes why he is a shit house. Well, yeah, and, and like a few years ago as well, there was um, I think it was Spurs scored against Arsenal. He celebrated, <laughs> and afterwards he said, "Us, oh, because I I gave the right decision. I was celebrating given the right decision." Like, mate, come on, match fix. <laughs> do me a favor, and do you know what? Even if he, if that was if that's the truth. What kind of a knob is is he? He's just a shit house. He's oh, just he's, a the, shit he's the worst. House. He's he the, is worst. the worst. Um, I mean, I could nominate all referees for shit house of the year, but Mike Dean is just the worst. I, I, the thing is, though, I think there's a lot of referees out there who, you know, it's, it's a tough job to do. You're all, all, already going into the game with both sets of players and all fans against you thinking yeah. that you've got it yeah against you because they think you've got it in for them i would say so our, it's, a tough, our, it's a tough game it's a tough it role, is a but... tough gig it's a tough gig but i think we have some of the p most poorly trained referees in in the in europe because i remember the the champions league final that referee who was uh spanish uh was just like very very clear uh with the potential i think it was handball and where he just goes, no, it hit his upper arm, then hit the lower arm, so it's not a penalty. And and that was very mm. clear, very concise, and he explained exactly what why he didn't give the decision that moment. English referees don't yeah. do that. They're just like a law onto... Uh, sorry, I'm channeling my inner Callum Brown now. Thanks, Callum. Um, he's just... <laughs> I've, I've listened to him rant all season about referees on this show. <laughs> now I'm just channeling it. I'm venting his frustration. It, 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 like our referees are just a law onto their own. They're just like, no, 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 no. I'm the boss of this game. Yeah, I am, they, I am the god of this pitch. They, I've I've said it's this, so it's this. Now get out of my face. Yeah, that's that's what that's that's what it is. I think how would how would Webb to be fair to him? He he did explain. He was actually good. Is, he yeah he he, he was good. Webb. 
Yeah. Even if he may have Absolutely. given the a few added on minutes for for Fergie time. Um. <laughs> Who didn't? Hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you, you're right. I think I think it's just the fact that there is they don't have to. They're not answerable to anybody other than the PGMOL. Yeah, and uh, they need yeah, to be. Un- yeah, yeah, yeah. Pr- uh, pr- um, yeah, uh, they need to be. They need to be mic'd. Whatever that sounds for. Yeah, yeah. They, they I, I agree. Mic'd. I hundred percent agree with that. Um, moving on then. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're you're chosen for shit house of the year. Or shit, shit I, I, I mean, obviously, I, men- I mentioned um, Hoiberg earlier. I mean, I can I can yes. I can quite comfortably <laughs> name three that. shit houses all from Spurs, and that would be. Um, Hoiberg, but that's because that's what he's supposed to do. Yeah, he's supposed to be a. I don't think he and, and can that... win an award for shit house because that's his job. Yeah, so 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 that so uh, that's this just kind of like an honourable mention. Um, Lamella. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good and, candidate and for shit house. And it annoys me when they go when then pundits go. Oh, he plays on the line. That's what he does. It's part of his game. He plays on. The... No, he's just a dick. Yeah, so he's just absolutely... a shit house. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a knob, and that's that's why he does it. Um, but for me, my the biggest shit house for me, and you know this might be controversial, but I think it's Son. Really? Because, why? Yeah, because, I like Son. No, but he's he's always like like kicking people as they go past, like lashes out. Like, uh, if, yeah, doesn't, if things don't yeah, go his way, a... he starts lashing out. Like he's when a bit he, of a dirty bastard. When he, when he broke um, Gomez's leg like he booted him he deliberately booted him because gomez had like nicked the ball off him and for me just lashed out at him and then he's like crying oh my god oh my god but what do you expect if you just absolutely boot someone you're gonna hurt them and mm. but everyone goes oh he's not that type of player no he is he's absolutely that type of player because he does it regularly so if you do something regularly then surely that means you're that type of player so that's your argument for some being shit house of the <sighs> I, it's it... Yeah. Maybe I think pundits need to change the way they look at Son. I just because they always seem to just go, yeah, he's, he's oh he's, because he works hard and yeah, he smiles he hard, a lot. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. He's always no, he's good not. to the media. You know, the media love yeah. him. He's a media darling. Yeah. Um. I I I just think. Yeah, I I, I think the he gets a lot of protection and a lot of a lot of the stuff that he does goes unnoticed. But you know, I mean. There's that. I mean, I suppose there's other trying to be balanced as well, you know, because I don't want to just go in on Spurs for for shouts because there's. I mean, I mean, I'm literally the most unbiased person on this show, so be as biased (laughs) as you like. (laughs) No, but I think you know, even if I if if I look at Arsenal, I suppose uh, maybe maybe you want to give a bit of a mention to Lacazette. Not for like like niggly things, but his his dive his dives in his owls <laughs> and, the, and the rolling like that's it's embarrassing and that is yeah. that's up for you got you got to put him in there for that. Um, I suppose you look around you look around the league you look at um you look at Man City. Um, I suppose Diaz would probably be in there for for a bit of shit owlery. He loves a little niggle and that same as same um Fernandinho. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know that's that's what they because they, they, that's their thing, isn't it? It's turnover. They're breaking up those those little niggly bits and stuff. Um, I, Bale. I've, oh. I've gone back to Spurs again. Bale is a bit of a shell. Really yeah, he is a bit of a shell, isn't because, he? Yeah. Because you look about like the last few games of the season where he's just gone. Yeah, all right, I'll just start banging in goals when he could have done that any point during the year. Yeah. <laughs> but he just he, he, he just he went. Sat, right he was on right a lovely old time on the bench. You can, um, like you can be us, and then went. Oh yeah, but my future. I'll, I'll wait until after the Euros. Of course, chaos if I tell anybody now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ben Chilwell for the FA Cup when he scored against Leicester and he started celebrating in front of the Leicester yeah. fans. That's a bit. That no, was shithousery a little bit. I, I I respect that though. Oh no, that was shithousery because... in my book. Oh no, but I just I hate the whole um non-celebration celebration thing it's ridiculous yes you used to play for that club but they sold you for whatever they sold you for financial gain and yeah you might have, and you might have wanted to move on that but that's that's like it's just it's just ridiculous you don't play for that team anymore you've scored a goal and especially as a left back that doesn't happen very often celebrate but i think the thing is because he came through their academy he's well 
he started his career at Russian and Diamonds, but who cares about that? Because he went then went to Leicester. So he's come through their academy. He's a Leicester City product. So that kind of that's why I say it's a bit of shithousery. Because like you've been at that club, like I don't care if you're like there for two seasons. You've come from Manchester United and then left. But if you've started your career at that club, then maybe you should just hold your tongue a little bit and just be like, okay, I know okay, the fans are what... going to give me stick, but. But I bet he got a lot. I bet he got a lot of stick from Leicester fans for moving oh, he did, to Chelsea. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair. So he's, so he'd have got a lot of stick from yeah. them. So he's probably thought, you know what? Screw you. Same yeah. as Ashley Cole when he when he moved to when he moved to Chelsea from Arsenal. Yeah, he yeah. Got, yeah, he, and consistently through the rest of his career, got shit from Arsenal fans, and he didn't he didn't hold back at all, and he shouldn't. If if you're if if that's the way you were treated, why you don't owe him anything? Mm. He doesn't he doesn't owe Leicester anything. No, they didn't. Those, those those fans they supported him when he was good, but if he was if he came through and was rubbish for them, they'd have booed him off the pitch. Mm, okay, all right. Um, so, for me, for me, that's, so that that's, disqualifies that's him. Opinion. That disqualifies him from nomination. I, I mean, I wasn't. I, I don't I think mean, he was going to win, but um, I, I, I just yeah, I just, mate, I just don't like it. Me? I just don't like that's, it. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I just I. I'm but no, the, no, he'll I'm he'll be disqualified from nomination. Uh, we'll disqualify him from nomination. Um, okay, I've got I've got a name, I've got a name, and uh, okay. you're not going to like it. Uh, I would like to nominate for shit house of the year because if I go back to the definition, someone who is the epitome of scum and the lowest of the low, Swindon Town Chairman Lee Power, you oh. are a shit house. You yeah. are, you are more than a shit house. You're a see you next Tuesday, which would get me banned from twitch immediately if i actually said that word um <laughs> the owner of swindon town football club well uh, as much as a legal wrangling with uh, gareth barry's agent is uh, currently happening uh said to bbc wiltshire like mid-season that the club was insolvent and that it was going to get put out of business and uh well the fact that michael standing is currently involved in a legal wrangling with lee power prevented the club from going into administration that is the one silver lining of this and then like two weeks ago he comes out in the courts and says actually i can fund the club i just don't want it <laughs> i just yeah he clearly doesn't fucking want to what a dick what a shit house! and he has just sold by the way his second club waterford fc if you needed to know that if you're a waterford fan he has just sold you um, which I'm sure he should have done it at the start of the season when he was having, uh, when Swindon were having financial problems. But then Paul Jewell came out this week, who is somehow the director of football at Swindon. Why? I have no what? idea. Exactly. That was my reaction. Paul Jewell is the director since of football at, since like 2018. He, oh. Paul Jewell is the director of football at Swindon Town. Not, I'm not shitting you. He is actually the director of football at Swindon Town. And he said we had a, what, like the eighth or ninth biggest budget in League One. We had a sizable budget and blamed the managers for their lack of uh, imagination, so to speak. I but, mean, as director of football, that would lie firmly at his feet. Exactly. So he is also up there for shit house. And uh, considering he is an ex-teammate of uh, John, uh, of uh, not John Sheridan, sure. but Lee Power. Um, he's an ex-teammate of Lee Power's. Uh, yeah, just shit house, shit house. And uh, he's just treated like jobs for the boys, isn't he? Because he had well, Tim Sherwood was there, and Sherwood. he is an ex League Power teammate as well. Yeah, but um, Sherwood also went. No, that wasn't a job. That wasn't a job. Yeah, that um, wasn't a job for me. That one, that wasn't a job. <laughs> and uh, obviously, he appointed John Sheridan, who was our winner for worst manager, who managed Water yeah. before him, and is I, I think may have been a former teammate of League Powers. I'm not sure, but. Um, definitely managed his other team, uh, Waterford. What, le what league are Waterford in? Uh, league of Ireland Premier Division. Ah, uh, right, okay. okay. Uh, so they are League of Ireland Premier Division, and uh, yeah, they're 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 there. Uh, but yeah, Lee Power is is a nomination for me for shit house of the year because not only th because of the financial situation, he's then gone to the supporters and gone. I don't want anything to do with you. You are such. To the supporters' trust, he's just essentially gone to them and went, you guys are scum, I want nothing to do with you. You keep on wanting me to sell or say power out and stuff like that. I want nothing to do with you. I'm going to tell you nothing about how I'm going to run the club. I'm going to run it the way I want. Screw you, 
you stupid fans. You're still going right. to pay your money into the club because you, lo- you you love the club, but quite frankly, screw you. Oh, I'm, I'm not even joking when I say this, but that sounds like, word for word, the type of things that um, Patrick Nolan says, who is the chairman of uh, um, Ashford City in the Offensive podcast. And that's that's a fictional thing uh, where they've made this this one guy who's a combination of all of the worst like um chairman and owners out there um he's a bit mike ashley he's a bit um like the guy who did at the big scandal and stuff in france and stuff as well he's a bit Gigi Bacar. he's all those hor- horrific yeah, people the worst of the one, worst and that's basically what lee powers is. he is and to a point where you go on any other comments for swindon town football club it's just power Fan power, not Lee power, and even it even got a mention on Soccer Saturday. Jeff yeah. Selling uh, gave it a shout out, but uh, you know there's there's legal wranglings over who's going to own the freaking club. Whether it's you know Michael Standing, who's Gareth Barry, uh, Gareth Barry's agent. Uh, there's Lee He's Power who wants then, <laughs> Lee Power wants to sell but can't sell because of the legal problems. He wants to sell to a bunch of Americans, and then you got this Australian guy called Clem Morfini who's actually contacted the supporters trust, spoken to the supporters trust, and said that I want to buy the county ground. I want to buy fifty percent of the land, and I want the other half to be owned by the supporters trust. I mean, that would be amazing. And that sounds like that sounds like the type of person, the type of owner that you want, isn't it? And um, I mean, the yeah. good thing you I, say I, that I, I trust good, no one at this point. The good thing about the about the club not owning the county ground is, uh, and I might not be one hundred percent accurate with this, but the Goddard family who owned the land, built it, and everything when they 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 written it. They'd written it's owned by a trust into, at the moment, yeah. Yeah, they, which they, is held they by created, the council. Yeah, and the reason why they did that was because they basically wanted it to always be used for something sport. for the community. Yeah. So I kind of yeah, I, I get I get and where they would want to do. Quite frankly, if he had, and everything. I had a, an old school friend of mine on this on this show thomas moore who's a but we both go to swindon town matches and uh we, we he he brought up a great point that he said if the club owned the county ground a lee power would have sold it and it'd be a, like a wait uh, well not a, a waitress but an aldi or a Lidl or a tesco uh, he'd have found yeah. the worst fucking store brand and it yeah he, he'd have bought, back he's bought the club stuff. and then gone what do you mean they don't own the i don't own the ground i yeah. don't own the land that the ground's on what and he's fuming. Yeah, he wa- he he was he. This is why also he's a shit house because he tried to buy a club, flip it for a profit, and failed miserably. And I that actually brings warmth to my heart, my cold dead heart. That brings warmth to it. So my one challenge on this, go on, is can he be shit house of this season? When he's actually just been a shouse for a very long time. Uh, yeah, I think you got me there. He's been a shit house for a while, but this season in particular, because of the mm-hmm. shit that he said to, um, like he's done radio shows where he's been like, "No fan questions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on BBC Wiltshire and I'm gonna spew my propaganda. I don't want any fan questions." He tried to ban the Swindon advertiser. I mean, the Swindon advertisers. I better be careful what I say because they provide me my local news on Swindon 105.5. But, you know, they're not exactly the greatest media source ever. Um, That's because there's about six people in a in an upstairs office in, in Old Town. It's like, there's the resources wise. I hate to exactly... break it to you. It's not even in Old Town anymore. It's not even in the it's not even in Swindon. I knew okay. someone that worked there. They just moved. It's all one office somewhere in um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, because it's like the Wiltshire Gazette or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, like I, I, th- I, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, what what can you say? So, any how, more nominations? How, how can how could I justify the son being a dick, <laughs> just kicking people and just diving and stuff and 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 pretending like he's real nice when he's not? How is that worse than <laughs> than? <laughs> Argu- arguably the devil himself running a football club. <laughs> uh, you hates. know what? You know what the thing is? And he might hold the fans in contempt. 
I still hate Mike Dean more. <laughs> I still think Mike Dean is the bigger shit house. But no, but do, do you know what the thing with Mike Dean is? He only upsets two fan bases a week, and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he doesn't upset those fan bases. There'll be a weekend goes by where Mike Dean doesn't upset anybody, and it's just a game uh, he happens to referee. Yeah, right. Whereas the Swindon fan base is reeling and hurting, but uh, is is caused pain by by Lee Power not just once a week. It's every single like day. Constantly, so that's their club. yeah. And like yourself, you know, you're a passionate Swindon supporter. It's your club. You love the club. And it's not that you can you can't just go, well, I'm not going to support them anymore. Because that's not how being a no. football fan works. You don't you can't just walk away and you're just sat there helpless whilst this guy is ruining the thing that you love. Um I won't I have said that I will not go watch a match while Sleep Power is oh no, I'm not putting any money into that club at all. Uh, to a point where I'd rather go watch Swindon Supermarine. And in fact I will be going to watch Swindon Supermarine, but I'll be watching Swindon Town matches when they're on TV or I'll be watching Soccer Saturday. I will not be going to the county ground. But that's the thing but that's the thing though, by watching them when they're on TV, it's money's still going into his pocket because the fact that you're part of the audience means Yeah, I know, but I have you to You know, and it's somehow. and it's hard. But that, I'm, and I'm not that's, that's not a judgment on you, mate, but yeah. it's that thing of like I know. It's it's so difficult. It's so difficult mm. because you're emotionally attached to the club. Ah, uh, so Lee Power is shit house of the uh, of yeah, the season then. Yeah, I oh, Lee Power's beaten Mike Dean. Ah, oh, Lee Power shit house of the year. Do, do we clap him? Do we do we clap him or do we just? Um, uh, oh no, I've got one. Lee, uh, Lee Power, shit house of the year. Not sure if I dare say this one. Wankers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.